product. It is a tiered tray kit and um, it's vintage looking. And I was telling you, in case you missed it, um, I was telling you that you can order the entire kit. And, and the reason I created the kit is because the tiered trays that I was finding in the store, A, I didn't really like them. B, they weren't tall enough. So I wanted to be able to do taller elements, like seven inch elements between my um, tiers. So I ended up, I cut all of these pieces. Okay, these create the lips on every one of the tiers. And then you get three tiers. Uh, I can't remember the exact sizes. They're like eight by eight. And then I think the biggest one's like 11 and a half inches. But by doing a taller tier on the bottom, you can do taller elements. So I can do little signs and things like that. Then this one's just smaller. It's a couple inches smaller and it goes on the top like this. So we're gonna paint this all very vintage. Um, these are the feet. So these are the little feet that it will sit on. Hey Kim, I have a an HL 100 watt laser. So these are the little feet um, that it'll sit on. It's gonna be super cute. But we're gonna get started painting because um, man, that took a long time to get everything reset up over here. So if you missed the first live, um, the product, I just put it on my website like 30 minutes ago. It is, um, it's right at $50 shipped. And it comes with a small bottle of wood glue for assembly. I left my wood glue next door whenever I ran over here. So I'm not going to be using the wood glue. Um, but I will show it to you assembled when I'm all done. Um, I left a lot of my stuff next door. So I am going to use, I just squirted my paint right here on this tablecloth. Uh-oh, this paint is brand new. Let me pull the top of it off. You know, I like the big bottles of paint because they last so much longer, but to me, the, the little plastic wrappers are so much easier to get off on the other bottles um, that these are harder to me. <clears throat> All right, so tiny, tiny drop of brown. Actually, I probably am going to need more paint than that. I'm going to just go ahead and mix quite a bit just because I don't want to run out mid-project. And I think, nope, I have one. I was going to say, I think I took my blow dryer next door. So here's what happened. Our, while I'm mixing all this, um, we had an electrical surge that took out our router. And I had, thank you, I had, um, Next door, I had uh, like a repeater, what do you call those? Like where your Wi-Fi will go further. Well, the new router came in and it was new technology. So the repeater didn't work anymore. So we had to order another one of those. So I appreciate your patience. Um, I'm sorry about that. If you jumped on my first live and then you were like, where did she go? Um, I was trying, I was hurrying over to try to fix it and get on here for you. All right, so I kind of wet my paintbrush because I don't want this paint to be super thick. Um, and I had some makeup sponges over there and I was actually gonna use those to paint this. Um, but I forgot them when I ran over. So we're just gonna use a paintbrush. Now I am gonna keep, okay, thank you, Ashley. Um, I'm just going to rough coat this. I don't want it to be super bright. Um, I just want it to be vintage. So I don't want to completely cover my wood grain. I want it to still show. It's going to be used indoors. So it's not, it's not like it needs a, you know, really thick coat. And we need to make sure that all of the wood is super protected. I'm gonna be putting dry elements on here. There won't be any like food or anything like that. Um, so I'm just rough, roughing this paint on. Don't y'all love it? Like best laid plans. Um, <laughs> everything shifts. 
Ooh. All right. I will tell you, I am going to paint the bottoms um, of these tiers. And you could even use a roller brush, like one of those foam roller brushes and just get most of the paint off. If you wanted to do it that way, that would work. But I am gonna paint the bottoms of these tiers. Except for, I mean, you don't really have to paint the very bottom one, but I want it to look finished. So if I pick it up and move it. Okay, so I've got the coat of paint on the first one. Can y'all see that? You can still kind of see the wood grain through some places, just smoothing it on. But I'm totally okay with that. Now, what you don't want is you don't want the holes to get clogged up with paint. Um, do you need to put any paint or seal on it? Can you leave it natural? Mary, I'm going to leave mine natural, but I'm also not going to put, and I'm not going to put anything that would mess it up on there. Um, but you can hit it with the, um, the same sealer we use for our outdoor signs. You can use that if you want to, and that would protect it. All right. So I'm just roughly putting a little bit more paint on here. And then I'm going to set that one off to the side and I'm going to start painting the next. If you, um... If you do get paint in those little holes, you can use a Q-tip to get it out. Are you kidding me? Um, oh my goodness. Okay, so it keeps, it just said it had to reconnect again. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Let me just keep painting. Let's see if I can hurry and do this and maybe my Wi-Fi won't give out on me. And I do want to paint the edges, but I'm probably going to paint those. I'm going to worry about those after I get the other pieces glued on. So I didn't want to glue the lip pieces on until after I um, got this bottom part painted because I didn't want to have to work around those cracks. Just wanted to be able to paint the sides. Now this is the top piece, it's about eight inches. All right, smooth that out, set that one down. See, it's so pretty. So is the weekend still on? As of right now, the weekend is still on. Okay, so I'm crystal clear for Kristen. Awesome. Man, technology is not my friend lately. Not my friend lately. Um, so Mary just asked, is the weekend still on? She is referring to the members retreat in April and as of right now, yes, it's still on. Now, obviously, I'm gonna hit this on the um, table because I've got some paint right there and I don't have a Q-tip. I'm just gonna kind of knock it out. So, um, I don't have a crystal ball, so I can't say for sure, but as long as we can social distance and, um, you know, be respectful of the COVID guidelines, as of right now, we're still on. So we are having a members retreat in April. I have a virtual paint party where I paint with all of my um, sweet members every month. And Robin, you will fly into Columbus. Uh, I don't know how far the Pittsburgh airport is. I think that's the other closest one, but I always fly in and out of Columbus. It's, it's a pretty small airport. I fly Southwest. I don't know what's close to you, like if you can fly Southwest, but they are a Southwest airport. So um, that's what I usually fly. Okay, so yes, and I'm actually recording the video. We are doing a vintage sled this month. We've done snowmen of some sort um, or snow globe for the last couple of years for our winter 
project, not Christmas, our winter project. And this year I thought we would do a super cute um, vintage sled. So, hey, Christy. I did, I did have a good one, thank you. Um, Gina wants to know, is it for members only? So, I would love to say no, and, um, oh yay! So, I would love to say that no, it's not just for members only, but I don't know yet, because with the COVID restrictions, um, my members are gonna get first chance to come, obviously, because it's a members retreat. Um, and so it will depend on how many members are coming, what the venue ends up being, which until I know numbers, um, as of right now, it will be in our studio. But um, until I know for sure numbers and what is, um, you know, what COVID is gonna look like at that point, I don't know. So it may be that last minute we can open up spots for non-members, but as of right now, it's just for members. So we are gonna be doing, um, and it's free for members, which is awesome, because we're gonna be doing three projects. Um, and the only thing you'll have to pay for is transportation and food. Um, but we are gonna be going out to dinner um, a couple times and getting to socialize, meet new, make new friends. Okay, I've got last one. Can y'all see that? Thank you for sprinkling. Yes, I keep forgetting. <laughs> Gina, I might do that. Oh, Faith, I'm so glad you caught me live. I'm so glad I got to come live. I actually had gone live just a few minutes ago from the studio and was having trouble um, and had to run over here next door. And so I forgot some of my supplies. We're gonna make do. So we are painting. I'm, I'm kind of going in these cracks right now. I'm just taking my brush and I'm just swishing around in those cracks because I do want to kind of coat those edges. Um, it's okay if you can still see a little of the black. Guys, this is supposed to look vintage. It's not supposed to look perfect. It's supposed to look rough and fun and ornate. So I don't know if you can see, but in some of those cracks, I'm going in and I'm just adding what um, paint is on the side of my paintbrush and smoothing it out. Don't need much. Oh, and Gina, um, message me later because I figured out a new laser hack today. Oh my gosh, such a time saver. Um, and I don't know why I didn't think of it sooner. But like my brain works funny, guys. I um, I love to problem solve and like come up with new puzzles. And I, I just, I love, I, lo I love to work my brain that way. Um, and so anyway, I, I got a laser back in November, end of November, and I've been using it and I love it and it's wonderful and all the things. Um, but some of my wood pieces. Okay, let me show y'all what I'm doing real quick before I keep talking. I am just barely brushing on in some spots. I'm brushing on some darker, making it brighter white. Just so some pieces are darker than others. I'm using the dry, pretty much the dry paint, okay? All right. I don't know if y'all can see that, but there's some areas like right there where I hit it darker, okay? So that side is ready. I'm gonna do, uh-oh, ooh, got brown right in the middle of that. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing in here. I'm just kind of going in those interior spots. I'll go all the way around. I'm not getting it all. I can still see some black where the laser sealed my edges, but I do want a little bit of white in there. Don't want to hit that brown. That would be bad. All right. And then I'm kind of roughing that paint, just smoothing it out on the rest of the piece. Now, friends, if you used um, during the week, no, it's on the weekend. Um, Karen, you're going to fly in on a Friday night 
Uh, it's, I believe, the weekend of April 24th. Um, yeah, I believe that's the weekend. So you'll fly in or drive in on Be Here by Friday afternoon is the goal. Um, that way everybody can kind of freshen up and um, come to dinner. I am kind of old, you know, I'm like an old lady. I like to go to dinner early and that way we can sit and talk and all the things. Um, okay, so there's that one. I'm gonna set this one down. Yes, you can drive. Um, so that it will be Friday night, we'll have dinner. We'll craft all day Saturday. We'll go to dinner Saturday night and then everybody can leave, drive home, fly back, whatever on Sunday is the plan. All right, I'm getting in these cracks. Sounds weird, doesn't it? I'm just roughly getting in here. The bigger parts um, are a little bit easier. All right. Let's see. Make sure y'all sprinkle the video with your friends so that they can make a fun vintage tiered tray too. Um, I've also got the Valentine's set that Guys, I've been shipping out like crazy. It's super fun. And I will be going live painting that soon. Um, just haven't gotten to it yet. Felt like I needed to make my tray first. So then we can kind of stage it and y'all can all see how it's gonna be staged. It's gonna be in Zanesville, Ohio, where I am. It is most likely, if everything goes well, going to be in my studio next door. Um, all right, so I only need to paint the tops of one of these because the other one is gonna be down below. So I am gonna just kind of hold these down and paint. I'm gonna try to get the sides too. Just paint, paint, paint. And if anyone wants to know, oh, S-H-A-R-E, that's how you sprinkle. How long? Exactly one hour. <laughs> it's exactly one hour from the Columbus Airport. So, Christy, to sprinkle you, S-H-A-R-E. I can't say that word or I get in trouble. But that's what we mean when we say sprinkle. <laughs> All right. So I'm painting all of these pieces, just trying to get a good coat and I'll kind of flip it around here in a minute so that I can see what I'm doing. Well, I've driven a lot further than to Mississippi um, with my two children in tow. So if you wanna make a road trip, come on up. And it's gonna be super laid back, guys. It's not gonna be, oh look, Christy said she's in Alabama, y'all could carpool. Um, it's not gonna be like crazy intense, like this huge schedule. We're gonna have um, a craft in the morning. I'm trying to think, maybe there's two crafts in one kit to take home. I can't remember. I've got um, I've got all my notes, but like I said, nothing's not, nothing's finalized because of COVID. And I don't know how many people there are going to be and all the things. Um, but there will be a morning craft and an afternoon craft for sure. And then if we have time, there will probably be a third. If there's not time, um, after we after I get all of the crafts finalized, um, the plan is to have a third project that you can take home. Something fun and easy. Um, the other thing is what um, I love about the um, retreat is we are doing um, prizes. So I've been getting prizes together as I see them. Oh, okay. This is getting really sticky. Um, I'm getting prizes together and getting everything ready. So excited. It's going to be so much fun. Okay, so I've got this first coat on. All right, got these first, the first coat on these rings. I'm not going to put 
a coat on the second set of rings um, just because we're only gonna need to paint the sides of those. So I'm gonna do that part later. I do need to do my candlesticks and these balls. Now, next door I had my skewers to kind of put my balls on to make it easier, but since I don't have them, we're just gonna get messy. All right, so there's one. Just quickly painting these rough paint. There's the second one. So Ashley, I am originally from Texas and when we lived in Georgia, like I'm from South Texas and when we lived in Georgia, I, um, I used to make that trip with my babies. Like they were babies and it was hard, it was tough, but oh my gosh, it was so fun when we finally got there. All right, I'm gonna put the last paint on this last one. So Ashley, okay, who is three hours from, oh, okay, so Christy and Ashley are three hours away. So Ashley, could you drive to go meet up with Christy and then y'all come together? I know you can do it. I have faith in you. Where did I live in Georgia? Okay, where did I not live in Georgia? No, so I lived a couple places in Georgia. I lived in the Savannah area in Pooler, Georgia. And then I also lived in Columbus, Georgia. Friends, I didn't mix enough paint. I'm about to run out. I'm gonna have to mix some more. Good thing I know my ratios, huh? Mix some more paint. So I lived there for several years. All right, more paint. This is just bright white or white. And then a dot of brown that I will mix in here. I use the back of a paintbrush. We don't have to clean bristles. I'm just gonna mix this right here on my paper. All right, I'm gonna keep going. Yeah. Oh yes! So, um, I uh, went to church in Rankin. I went to, I think it was First Baptist in Rankin when we lived there. Had lots of friends down in Rankin, Georgia. I say I had lots. I still have lots of friends down in Rankin, Georgia. That's so funny. You wish you could. Why can't you, babe? Guys, I feel like I'm like being really sloppy today. But I guess sometimes when you're getting crafty, you have to get a little bit sloppy, huh? All right. Set that like that. Spin it. Okay, I think that one is good. Spin that. If I see any spots at the end, um, I'll just go back and slap some paint on them. Next one. <laughs> Penny. Oh, that's funny. Um, what does Penny say? I know where that was. Okay, I am slopping paint today. I am slopping paint all over the place. All right, I'll get this bottom part done. I need to lean forward so I don't get paint everywhere. All right, and then I'm gonna come up, paint this part. And what's so awesome about this kit, um, Yes, y'all can do that. Or just start a group chat. I'll have to go back and read. I can't see all of the messages. I ordered them in bulk, Miss Susie. 
I ordered them in bulk. Um, I think I got, I can't remember if I ordered them from, I think there's a website called Woodpeckers or if I got them from Amazon. I think, or they, they initially, I mean, I think that they ultimately came from Woodpeckers, but I can't remember if I bought from them or from Amazon. I'm gonna flip this and paint this part. Okay. All right, let me move this off to the side. Now, these tears are just about dry, so I'm gonna flip them and I'm gonna put a rough coat of paint on the back. I don't need a lot, I just don't want, um, you know, somebody to look at the back and be like, oh, there's no paint there. Remember, we're going vintage, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Quick coat. You don't want to let it um, fill your cracks though, because the whole, um, I guess, appeal of this is having those ornate details, which I absolutely love. They take forever for my friends that cut on a laser, forever to cut. This file took me um, an hour to cut. It's a lot of time on a laser. Well, I guess it depends on what kind of laser. It's a lot of time on a big laser. All right, I'm gonna set this all over here. I'm gonna kind of hit this on the table to get any paint out of those holes. And then I'm gonna flip it so this side can dry. Let me smooth that out a little bit where I just got all that paint. Okay, so I'm gonna set that one back down. Do the next one. All right, friends, have a great day, Miss Christy. I hope it is fabulous. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing here. And I may have to, um, I'm trying to think. I might have to wait till all this dries and then go back and, um, jump on and, and assemble it. It's kind of going to be a three-step process just because you've got to wait for paint to dry, you've got to wait for glue to dry, and I'm guessing most of y'all can figure out how to assemble it, but um, we're just going to, after we finish painting it, we'll glue it, and then we'll have to kind of touch up like the outsides and stuff, like where the rings come together. It'll need a little bit of touch-up paint. Now, if you're like, if you're not like me and you don't like to mix your own color because you're worried that it's not going to be exactly the same, you can buy a bottle of like linen paint, um, you know, a color kind of like that, just something that's just a little bit off white. All right. All right. I'm going to hit this one too. So I'm just hitting it on my paper to knock any of that paint out of those holes. And then I'm smoothing it back out. And then I'm gonna set it down right here so it can dry. Now I've got these, which I'm not gonna paint anymore. I'm just gonna paint the back side of this big one. Um, you can. Mary, uh, but the way that these candlesticks are made, there's a big hole. So you would have to kind of fill those. Uh, and then like this one has this size hole. So, I mean, yes, you could if you wanted to. I don't want the top of my tray to have anything, like I want it to be um, flat on the top. And so I'm not gonna, I'm gonna actually just glue mine with I, my favorite wood glue is the Gorilla wood glue. I don't know if any of y'all have used it, but I really like it. Um, it holds really well. So that's what I'm gonna do. No, they're not solid. No, they're candlestick holders. So they would, they have the, <laughs> thank you, Ann. Um, they have the divots for the candles. 
Um, so, yes, I'm loving this project. I don't know if you saw, but I started designing the tiered tray kits. And um, I couldn't find a tiered tray that the levels were tall enough to put seven and eight inch elements between. And so, since I wasn't gonna be using it for food or anything like that, I just wanted to use it for decoration. I wanted to be able to use some taller elements. And so, I just decided to figure out how to make my own. So, I do have these kits online if you would like to make one too. I'm just this I'm now painting the back side this is um, supposed to be vintage so we're not trying to get a you know really solid coat I want the wood grain to kind of still show through but I also want to knock the paint out of these holes so that it doesn't close them up if that makes sense Put way too much paint right there I'm just kind of slapping it on. You could use a roller if you wanted to, a foam roller, uh-oh, where you didn't have too much paint on it. Just kind of have fun with it. Can't really mess it up. All right, I think I'm gonna hit this one on my table. Get some of that, knock some of that paint out. And then I'm gonna smooth it out. Oh, and I forgot to tell y'all, um, for those of you that are coming to the members retreat, I have been putting to the side, because I know my crafting friends, yes, it is available to purchase now. On the website, kinsleyscreativepalette.com. There's, um, there's four, like it says shop, and there's like four different things, um, and it's the DIY craft kits. So yes, it is available on the website. They they take me a long time to cut. So this one will take me about a week to ship out after payment processes. Um, just so you know, just because they're 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 long, and I can't leave my laser running when I'm not over there. So anyway, okay. Um, but I have been cutting, you know, signs and things like that. Well, when I have an imperfect one, like maybe the lines weren't right or whatever. I've been setting them off to the side so that we can have a um, a blank sale of imperfect signs, like second hand, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, second imper imperfection, I don't know, whatever, um, at the event. So you'll be able to purchase the full-size door hangers and other stuff that I have um, at big discounts. All right, so I just kind of want to show y'all how this is going to go together. All right, I don't want to put it in my paint, though. Can y'all see this? Y'all see that? Oh, I don't know why I put that piece down. So, it needs to be up like this. But, this is the top. So, I would just set these two rings on top. I would glue them down. And then, I'm going to have to come back and paint those sides. But, you see how after I glue it, I would come back and paint those sides? You see why I would do that? But, you can see in there, you've still got some of the dark because we want it to still have that vintage look to it. So I do want to keep some of that dark. So I'm not going to um, like really coat them heavily. All right, so I've got these. So this is how these will work. You'll stack the rings and glue them on. Now, let me give you a disclaimer. This is quarter inch, which is not truly a quarter inch because that's before they cut it down, um, but they sell it as quarter inch. It's quarter inch, but it's a plywood product. And so you may have, from the moisture, you may have um, <clears throat> some lifting. You're just gonna have to glue that, okay? It may be like you put too much paint right there like I did. Yes, like a scratch and dent, Gina. There you go. Um, but I had a lot that like when I was learning my laser, and I mean, it just happens sometimes. Um, but when I was learning my laser, like my mirrors were a little bit dirty, so the lines didn't line up or something. And I was like, I don't want to just throw these signs away. Um, they're still paintable. And so, but they weren't shippable as, um, you know, first, 
first runs. So, all right, so I've got all this painted. I will have to wait until it all dries and then I'm gonna assemble it all. Now, after I assemble it with my wood glue, um, look at this, do y'all see that? Isn't that terrible? Um, after I assemble it with my wood glue, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna touch it up around the, the outsides and just anywhere that needs it, um, and then it will be ready. I will hit it with my Rust-Oleum Gloss Clear Ultra Cover just to keep it from scratching up, um, and then it's ready to decorate. So my plan is next week to go live painting the um, Valentine's tiered tray set that I designed to go on this tiered tray. Uh, if I don't do it before Thursday, um, meet me back here Thursday. I have a doctor's appointment at some point. I can't remember what time, um, but meet me back here and I will assemble it and do all of the things if I don't do it before then. So y'all have a fabulous day. Thank you for hanging in with me. Um, good morning, Cindy. Good morning, Karen Lynn. Ah, Karen, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, for all my members that have joined live, um, I will be popping over into the members group to answer a lot of questions that I think this live is gonna have going in your brain. So if you wanna know specifics, um, you will be able to ask me questions over in our paid group. So <clears throat> if I say something that confuses you on this live because I'm rolling out a brand new product, <clears throat> Please, please join me over there and you will be able to ask questions. Now, if you don't catch me live, that's okay because you can ask questions later and I'll answer them later. But um, friends, tomorrow morning, something is big and exciting is happening. And it's something that has been on my brain for a while. And I don't know if y'all remember, but a while back I asked I did a, um, oh gosh, what do you call it? Um, a survey. I did a survey and I asked, aside from door hangers, what is it that you enjoy? And so many of you had the same answer and that was wooden crafts, wooden acrylic crafts, okay? So like crafts with acrylic painting, um, but with wood. So friends, I have been working on something in the background for a while. Um, this is, this was kind of just a project, this particular project that we started on last Tuesday or on Tuesday um, was kind of a culmination of that. But I have a brand new monthly box, purely, you, it's not gonna be a digital option. It's not something that you can purchase and like cut yourself and do all of that. It's gonna be a box, a kit, that's delivered to you once a month with a surprise home decor project. And the only two things I can guarantee are that it's gonna include wood and paint, okay? The rest of it, we are gonna let our imaginations run wild. Sometimes it'll have 3D elements, sometimes it'll be stencils, um, sometimes it will have floral elements, but I can tell you that the first box that releases tomorrow, there's only 60 spots available. And that is because I had to pre-purchase supplies for the first 60 boxes. Um, and so I didn't wanna kinda go overboard. I wanted to judge um, supply and demand. And so there's only 60 boxes available and the first project is reversible. Um, not every time will it be seasonal, sometimes it will be a craft product project that is home decor that's, that lasts all year long. Sometimes it will be seasonal. This first box, because we're coming up on two major, ho well, I say major holidays. It's not like Thanksgiving and Christmas, but they're two super fun holidays. This first box is going to have holiday elements. Um, so I'm super excited about that. It will take you all the way through spring. I'll just give you that. And yes, it's going to be reversible. So you'll, <laughs> yes, Karen, you do need this box. You do need this box. And I will be answering more questions later. 
Um, but I will tell you this, if you are a member and you're like, Kara, I can't add another subscription. Okay, I hear you. Um, first of all, you're gonna want this box. Uh, I'm not offering the digital option, so you won't you know, be able to like cut your own and buy the files and all of that. But if you don't sign up, um, you will get first access if I have any remainder boxes or if I have supplies to make additional. If not, you'll, you just won't get that box this month. Um, but the box, I messed up in the graphic. It will be ready to ship, ship or pick up every month by the 25th. I put the 15th, I messed up on that. Um, but because we are already on the 7th and I'm only gonna take, um, I'm only gonna take subscriptions until, <clears throat> and signups until the um, 15th, that gives me 10 days to get all the boxes put together and ready. So that is, that's the scoop guys. Um, in this, this first box, I have to tell you because I'm super stoked about it. There is the cutest Easter element. Like to me, it is so stinking precious, okay? It is so cute. It's one of those things that like will make this um, project pop. Uh, and the other thing I was gonna tell you is I went to five stores. Well, one of them was Amazon, so I didn't go, but um, I purchased from Amazon. So five stores. I, of course, had to buy multiple of everything that I bought. So like, hey, Rachel, if a box, uh, I mean, if a package had six of something in it, you only need one for this craft project. So instead of you having to buy all the supplies, which would be crazy expensive, um, because, and you'd have all the stuff left over, you're just gonna get what you need for the project. And the only thing that you might want that will not come in the box is a blow dryer to, you know, make it go faster. Um, Cause I will have one. So. Here's, this is the other cool part. A blow dryer and hot glue gun. Neither one are essential. You can totally do it without. But what I will be doing is the box will be a surprise. No one is gonna know until they get their box in the mail what that month's projects are gonna be. You're not gonna be allowed to post sneak peeks. Um, we don't want that. We want this to be a super fun surprise because don't we all need a super fun surprise every month, especially with all the craziness that's going on. Um, so the way that this will work is you will get um, your payment will process the beginning of the month. I will package all of the boxes and then I will ship out all of the boxes and I will go live in our paid group, which if you are a box subscriber, you will get to be in our paid group. So you won't get the door hanger project every month, but you'll get that community. You'll still get to hang out with those sweet people and share creative ideas. But what I'll do is I will be going live in that group, unboxing, and then we will do the actual project live together. So i um, super excited. It's a project that you will be able to do with me live. Um, like I said, you might want to have a blow dryer and a hot glue gun on hand. If you don't, you just may have some drying time and it may take you a little bit longer to do your project. But the idea is we will have a creative break where we can craft together once a month and you don't have to go to the store to buy anything. This month's kit, I will tell you, is going to come with and every month will be different because the projects will be different. Some months they'll be signs, some months they may be the little decor for your tiered trays or just to sit around your house like knickknacks. Um, they're just, they're all gonna be different. But this month's box is going to have two floral elements. I guess technically, well, we'll call that, yeah, two floral elements. Um, it's going to have two additional like 3D elements. It's going to have some 3D wording. So 
so you don't have to worry about lettering or anything like that. It is going to be super cute, guys. And like I said, it's reversible. Okay, if you just joined me, I am putting together the tiered tray that we paint or that we painted on Tuesday. And I'm just assembling it. Now, if you're like, Kara, what is that glue you're using? If you purchase the kit on my website, it comes with a bottle of this glue. This is, I'm not being secretive about this. Um, this is the Gorilla Glue, Gorilla Wood Glue. So it's the Gorilla brand wood glue. And I am just using these clamps. Now friends, these right here, I got at Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of two for a dollar. They're not super heavy duty, but they're heavy duty enough to do light duty projects. So it's just, this was, um, when I saw them, I thought, oh, those are gonna be perfect for my tiered tray. So I am clamping these together after I put two beads of glue and I'm just setting them off to the side. Okay, so I'm doing those and I'll do this one. Uh oh, this one's stuck a little bit. I may have to sand this little part and repaint a little bit. So I'll have to do that. I don't have my sanding block over here, I don't think. Oh, I have sanding paper right here. Okay, so what else was I gonna tell you? Um, oh, okay, so this month comes with four paint colors. So you don't have to, you won't have to be like, Kara, what were the colors that we were gonna need for the project? Um, it's all gonna come in a box. All gonna come in a box. Good morning, Miss Ann. Good morning, Alicia. So you're just gonna show up and have fun with me. Like, show up and have fun. Hey, Susan. Susan, I just made a big announcement. I hope that you caught it. And friends, please, please sprinkle this video with your friends. You don't want your friend to be left out when you're doing this super fun craft project every month and making super cute home decor and having fun with a new group of friends on Facebook and your friend is left out. Um, I'm, it's only gonna be open until the 15th of the month but I only have 60 boxes. So if those 60 boxes sell out on day one, then we will open back up for a couple days for the next month. I will try to get extra supplies and um, we will open back up for just a couple days for new members the following month. Now, you, the question I'm gonna get asked is, is this a subscription? Yes, it is. I have to be able to purchase all of the products and get them, buy all of the things so that I can put the boxes together. So I kind of need to know month to month, you know, how many products, I, how many boxes um, I need to assemble. So yes, it will be, but you can cancel anytime. You don't, you're not like locked into a commitment. As long as you cancel before your payment processes, um, you're not locked in. Now, if you cancel after your payment processes, you're getting that box for that month. And then, you know, you would just need to jump on and cancel before the following month. So I hope that that makes sense. If y'all have questions, let me know. I'm just clamping all of these together. Let's see, I had one little spot where my wood split. And so I did have to put a really small bead of glue in there. And I'm just, just taking my finger and I'm getting any of the excess glue because I don't want there to be big glue blobs. Blobs, globs, whatever. So, um, ah, okay. So this part is done. Now I'm gonna flip this piece over and I'm gonna go ahead and put our feet on. Do I have a door hanger on sale? Amanda, I need to do that. Send me a message as soon as I get off. I've been working on a new project and I have been inundated with that and I haven't, I haven't put anything on sale, but I'd love to. So yes, send me a message afterwards and I will go put a door hanger um, template half off on the website just for you, babe. So yes, just remind me. All right, I'm gluing my little feet on. 
These are flat on the top so that you can easily glue them on. Um, and I'm just gonna glue in four spots. So what I'm gonna do here, I need to move this slightly. I'm gonna do straight across and then straight across. I've got four, so I'm gonna divide them up. I'm gonna put this one right here. Now friends, these are going on the bottom. So I mean, honestly, um, <laughs> if you don't get them exact, it's okay. Nobody is gonna know. Like this is supposed to be DIY. Thank you so much, Amanda. You're so sweet. Oh, um, and it's gonna be $35 a month plus shipping. Um, shipping is $8. Anyone that's local that wants to do it with us every month, it's $35 and you can pick up here or you can pay for shipping and I'll ship it, ship it to your house. So, um, guys, it's worth so much more than 35 And like I said, I went to five stores to get all of the stuff to put in the box. Uh, and I bought, you know, whenever you might need one of something or two of something, I had to buy like 10 of something. So instead of you having this whole pile of products left over, you're welcome. And afterwards, you will have just what you need. Now, you might have a little bit of paint left over because I am sending little pots of little pots of the colors that you need, and I'm sending extra. So, you may have, you know, you may end up with some extra paint. You can keep it or toss it. Um, you know, I tend to be a crafter and a hoarder of all things craft supplies, and so I would probably keep it, um, but you do you. Now, real quick, I want to show you. I'm assembling these. I've got them clipped. Okay, they're lightweight. Now, these sides will be painted uh, whenever I get it all assembled. The reason I did that is because um, I wanted to make sure I get a clean edge. Okay, so I want to put the paint on, cover up any, if I have any glue that pokes out or whatever, I'll cover that up with paint. If you missed my live on Tuesday, thank you, Amanda. Um, if you missed my live on Tuesday, I used... Anita's white paint. Oh, there's my camera. Anita's white craft acrylic paint from Hobby Lobby in the big bottle. Burnt umber. And so what I did was a big glob of this and like one tiny dot of brown. And I mixed it in to get kind of this vintagey white. Okay. I put a real thin coat on. I didn't do a lot of excess. And that's how I came up with this color. Hey, Gina, how are you, love? All right, so this is where we're at. I've got this glued. Now, I'm not gonna be able to put the, so I'm gonna put these two tiers together, um, but I'm not gonna be able to put these two together until these feet dry. So let me show you. I've already glued the edges on this bottom rack, but until those bottom um, feet, these are the feet. Y'all can see how cute and stubby they are. Until those bottom feet dry on there, I don't want to flip it over. But I'm going to show you how to do that part with this one. So then all you'd have to do is add your glue and put the last two pieces together. Okay. So um, let me put, I'm going to go like this. All right. So I'm going to put my glue on both sides of this. I don't want it over on the outside. Just make sure you get it in the middle, okay? You don't want it to be all to the side. Then I'm gonna put glue right here. All right, some of you that just joined me, um, I made a big announcement at the beginning. Tomorrow, I am opening up my monthly home decor DIY home decor subscription box. You will get everything that you need to make a home decor piece every month. This upcoming month happens to be reversible. Um, the box is $35 plus shipping, so $43 if you need it shipped. It is a monthly subscription, but you can cancel any time before your payment processes. So let's say that you, and if you're local, you can pick up 
Um, it's $35 a month. You can pick up on my porch. Boxes will be ready by the 25th of each month. I accidentally messed up on my graphic. I, I said the 15th, but because we're, it's already the 7th and I'm taking um, subscriptions until the 15th, I can't get them all ready by the 15th. All right, so I'm putting that up here. Let me turn it kind of pretty side. Okay, like I said, I still have to paint this after I finish assembling. So this is kind of a three-part process. You paint all your base coats, then you're gonna clamp it and glue it and all the things. Thank you for sharing. Yes, please, please sprinkle the video. I would greatly appreciate that. That helps, you know, you see your friends do small business stuff online and you're like, oh, I could never do that. Well, here's the thing. You don't ever have to spend a dime with your friends on Facebook on their small business stuff. It helps so much just by clicking that S button, just by clicking that S button that Lisa just clicked, that helps us more than you would ever know, ever know. So I appreciate that so much um, for whoever does that for me, appreciate it. Um, oh, okay, so I was gonna wait and tell y'all this surprise announcement till tomorrow, but the first 20 boxes are subscriptions that are signed up for for the new monthly DIY box you're gonna get something extra in your box. It's a um, early bird bonus. It's a, the first 20, you know, that, that got in, that trusted me and that trusted this box. Um, I, so I'm super excited. So it's just gonna be something little, um, six or 12 prepaid. <sighs> Kristen, I might, I'm not gonna do it yet, but here's what I will say. I need to get the kinks worked out. But what I will do is if I do offer a discount later, I will let you cancel and re-sign up with the discount. Does that make sense? Um, because it is such a new product, I'm not ready to say, I'm not ready to commit to 12 months. Um, but I am super excited about it and I think it's gonna be fabulous. I think that y'all are gonna love getting this surprise in the mail with everything you need to do the project. Being able to, hey, Jesse, it's your first time, welcome. Yes, thank y'all for sprinkling, um, but I think you're gonna love getting everything. You won't have to say, hey, Kara, what color are you using for that? It's gonna be in your box. Um, you won't even need like paint brushes and things like that. Uh, you can use, you know, you can always have extra things on hand if you want to, but you'll even have sponges to paint with. Um, you'll have all the things. And by the end of the night, so we're, what we'll do, here's how, here's how it works. Let me back up. You sign up for the monthly subscription box. Um, it comes out once a month. That payment automatically comes out, so you don't ever have to sign up again. But what's gonna happen is then I'm going to package your box and either do porch pickup or I will do shipping, whatever you need. $43 to ship, $35 if it's not shipped. Um, but when you get your box, they'll all ship by the 25th of the month. When you get your box, uh, what we'll do is we'll do an unboxing in the members group, which you will get to be in the members group. You'll get put it in the members group. You won't get access to the door hanger projects, but you'll get access to the door hanger community. Okay, so I have a virtual paint party that paints with me every month and we do a door hanger project. But so many of my ladies in there told me that they love <laughs> Karen. Yes, drive to Ohio. So many of my ladies in there told me that they love wooden acrylic crafts and so this box is kind of a dream of let's do another wooden acrylic craft every month but let's not have to get all of our stuff together and get all of our stuff out it's all gonna be in your box okay it's all gonna be in your box this month I even am including a piece of this paper so like you just roll the paper out do your project wad the paper up and throw it in the trash when you're done it's that easy um, I do have gloves coming, so where you don't want to get paint or whatever on your fingers, you'll get one glove because most people are only going to paint with one hand. Um, so I'm, guys, I'm so excited. Like, it's just going to be, everybody will get their box. 
Nobody's gonna know what's in the box until it comes to their door on one night a month. What I will do is I will go live in the members group. I will open the box and we will all make something together, okay? That's how this is gonna work. So what happens if you get your happy mail before someone else gets their happy mail? You know what? You can't post a picture. You can post a picture of the outside of your box and you can post like, hey, I got my happy mail, but there won't be any post approved that have spoiler alerts because guys, Everything that's going on in the world today, like we need a little bit of happy in our lives. So once a month, I want you to open that box and not know what's in it. And to be able to sit down and de-stress and make something pretty. Um, because you know what that does? It not only helps with you mentally, it reduces your blood pressure. Oh my gosh, it reduces your blood pressure. Which, guys, I'm on two blood pressure medications. It's hereditary. But... If I could reduce my blood pressure with crafting, I mean, I do reduce my blood pressure with crafting. Um, like how much better will you feel at the end of the night? So I'm gonna put this last piece together now that I've talked so much that this bottom piece is dry. Ah, guys, I'm so excited to put this together. This has been a project that I've wanted to do for so long. Move this over here so you can see it. Okay, I'm gonna keep those clamped. I'm gonna be very gentle, but I am gonna go ahead and do this part. Now, some of you have already purchased this kit. It's already, some of them are already on the way. Um, if you purchased this kit and you want to know like, why is this candlestick so big? It's because I want you to be able to put taller things on the bottom of your tiered tray, okay? So this candlestick is nine inches. Show you, ah, glue's running out. I only, your bottle will be um, full or three quarters of the way, but I've been using this bottle since Christmas for different projects and uh, it's almost out. Where am I in Ohio? I am in Zanesville, Ohio. I'm about 50 miles from Columbus, but don't ask me what direction. <laughs> I'm creative. I'm not ge geographically um, skilled. Okay, I'm gonna try to get this out. I didn't close my glue. I bought these glue that have these tops that, oh, there you go, that screw off, but I didn't close it. And so that little piece got in there. I think I might've gotten it. All right, so got my Gorilla. There it goes. Perfect. Make sure y'all squeeze your, or twist your top when you're done using it so it doesn't dry up. All right. Okay, so I've got this right here. Once I put this next piece on, y'all aren't gonna be able to see me anymore. We're east. Okay, Alicia knows where we are. We are east of Columbus. <laughs> Thank you, Alicia. You're the bomb diggity. So friends, if you're interested in the members home decor box, we will be posting the link tomorrow morning. If you're on our email list, you might even get the link sooner. First 20 subscribers will have an extra surprise in their box. You won't know if you're the first 20 of first of or the first 20 subscribers until you get your box. Uh, because they're not like numbered or anything. You'll just have to hope, get on there and hope for the best. Okay, can y'all see that? All right, do y'all see how tall this is? I probably could go ahead and take some of these off, but I'm not gonna do that because I wanna make sure it's 100%. But I wanna show you, I've got this paint bottle, this eight ounce paint bottle, which y'all know about how tall they are. You see how you can put taller elements under here? So with the tiered tray kits that I sell, some of them have like seven and a half inch elements. I can put all of those on here. Can't necessarily put them on here because this is only six inches. So you can have bigger stuff on the bottom, a little bit smaller, and then like overhang or whatever you wanna do on the top. 
So that is why I ended up designing my own tiered tray as far as sizes are. I did buy these um, designs because it was just gorgeous and somebody did an amazing job. But I really, really wanted to have that taller bottom tier. Okay, I'm gonna gently move this out of the way so that I can see y'all. Okay, so I will, after all this dries, I will go back and I'll put a coat of paint on here and along here and I'll touch up any areas. I will then spray it with my favorite Rust-Oleum spray. Let me show y'all. It's Rust-Oleum Ultra Clear. Um, this is the gloss. They have it in matte, they have it in semi-gloss, whatever you want. Um, but yes, so I will be doing my tray next week, friends. Um, you'll have starting tomorrow morning until the 15th or until I sell out of boxes to sign up. Um, but next Tuesday, I will be working on painting all of the components that are going to go on this tiered tray. So what we'll be doing is we'll be creating all the things to decorate this tiered tray. We may not finish on Tuesday, so we may have to do Thursday as well, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kinda work together and decorate and explore all the different fun things that we can do on here. Now, if you already have a tiered tray, fabulous. Join us and see all the cute little stuff that we're gonna put on ours, maybe get some new ideas. But tomorrow morning, if you're on my email list, you're gonna be the first to know. If not, you can check Facebook and I'll put the link up. The first 20 monthly DIY de home decor boxes, surprise boxes, um, the first 20 subscriptions tomorrow morning as a thank you for believing in me, um, you will get an extra bonus in your box. Local pickup, $35, shipping 43. You're gonna get an entire project, everything you need to complete it only thing I would say you might want to have, it's not essential, a blow dryer and a glue gun. So I'm super excited. Tomorrow morning, we are going to release these boxes. Only got 60 of them. I can't wait. So excited. Can't wait to do this with y'all. So y'all have a fabulous day. I will see you back here. Um, we may even do a surprise project tomorrow. So I might pop on. Y'all have a great day. Bye friends. It's Kara with Kinsley's Creative Palette. Look, I'm hiding. Can y'all see that? Um, so today is Friday. I'm gonna call it Friday because it's been a crazy, crazy busy week, but it's been amazing. And I'm so excited to do the last part of this. So if you're just joining me, we started working on this tray last week. Last week? Yeah, gosh, it's been a week, I think. No, maybe Tuesday, I don't know. Anyway, we started working on this tray. I can't even keep track of the days anymore. And hello, Miss Kimberly. When you jump on, say hi. And make sure you hit that S button and sprinkle the love um, so that your friends can see our big reveal too. So I'm taking all of these clamps off. If you missed it, um, these are not super heavy duty, but they're really good clamps. Um, and I found them at Dollar Tree. They were two for a dollar. So these are the two for a dollar at Dollar Tree. And then these are heavier duty and they came from Harbor Freight. They're not expensive either, but these were super cheap. So I'm pulling my clamps off. Hello, bestie. Pulling my clamps off and we are going to do the very last part. Now, I had someone, I won't name names, say, oh my gosh, Kara, why? Why, why is this one so long? Okay, friends, it's because when we decorate, I want one layer where we can do taller stuff. Now, it's still not super tall. You can see it's a nine inch, but that was really important whenever I designed the height and everything of this tray. It's wobbly because of the table. Um, so anyway, I'm sorry about that. I have this really old table that has the veneer like coating on the top. And anyway, it's a hot mess, but it's my favorite. All right, so 
first day we uh, painted all the base coat. And in order to do that, if you want to know what color I used, because I get that question a lot, I used my favorite off-white. What's my favorite off-white? It is bright white, a big glob with a drop of brown. Um, I have found that burnt umber works best, but if you don't have burnt umber, you can use whatever you have available. So what I'm gonna do, I need to mix some more of this. Y'all can watch and see how not specific I am with the color. This was supposed to look vintage anyway, but I'm gonna just squirt a bunch of paint, big glob, and I might not need that much, but I might, and I would rather have more than enough than not enough. Ah, Pam, okay, I really kind of felt like it was at the ugly duckling stage. I don't know if y'all saw my uh, Instagram story, but I was like, when I put a picture up, I thought, oh gosh, that doesn't look very pretty. I don't know if I should post it, but I do love it, um, but it's gonna be gorgeous when we're finished. So what we're doing today is yesterday we clamped it all together and if you order the kit it comes with everything you need except the paint and it comes with this glue it is my favorite glue i've been using this bottle i don't know if you can see it's still half full um oh, <laughs> my cute earrings cindy um my cute earrings might might be a hint as to a bonus let me just say that. Okay. So yes, I love these, these earrings. Um, so anyway, this is Gorilla Glue, Gorilla brand wood glue, and it's my favorite. I buy it in bulk. And then anytime I'm doing kits that are, require like a lot of woodworking, um, this is my favorite paint. And this is what I've included in this kit. Bonnie, I haven't seen you in forever either. Thank you for joining me. So this is part three. Can't even like add right now. Let me just put all my fingers up. I'm stirring this paint, if y'all can see me over here. It, guys, it just looks bare. It almost has a, like a light pink tint to it. Don't let that scare you, okay? Hello, Miss Tina. Okay, so I use the back side of my paintbrush so they don't have to wash my bristles. Um, thank you, thank you. If you like it now, I think you're gonna love it later. Um, but yeah, so like I was saying, I posted this on Instagram and I thought, oh my gosh, Kara, like that does not look good. Um, but it's all a work in progress. It's all a work in progress. So what we're gonna do today is we are gonna touch up any areas that I feel like need more paint. I did have one spot right here where it stuck to my paper. I wouldn't suggest doing that, letting it stick to your paper, um, but I accidentally did. So I ripped it up, pulled as much as I could off and then sanded it down. Yes, please, please, please use that S button and sprinkle this with your friends. I would greatly appreciate it. All right, so step three is just touch up. We're gonna paint our edges and I'll start over here so y'all can see. Okay, friends, this is gonna take two coats because we're covering up a really dark burnt this is literally burnt it is um it's laser cut so it it burns the wood so it's literally a burnt side you don't if you're like but here i love that look you don't have to do this part don't have to yes trust the process um you don't have to do this part but i wanted it to be more like that can y'all see that and I will do the same thing on that lip on the inside, but it doesn't, you don't have to do but one coat if you don't want to, or you could do two. Made those tassels. No, okay, Cindy, I actually did not make those tassels. I do have, if you go to my YouTube channel, I do have a video where I, I show you how to make tassels because I, I mean, I feel like every crafter at some point is gonna want to make their own tassels. Um, Angela, it's on my website under craft kits, DIY craft kits. If you don't find it, message me and I'll give you the link. Um, but I want to talk to y'all about something else. So if you just jumped on, um, or you have to go, make sure you jump back on because you're not going to want to miss this. 
But, Cindy, go to my YouTube channel, search tassels. Whoops. And I do have a video walking you through how to make your own tassels. Okay. Um, Angela, these kits, they ship in about five to seven business days. They're all cut to order. They take at least an hour on the machine just to cut. So that's why they take a little bit of time. Um, they're longer than any of my other files, but they are beautiful. Okay. And it comes with everything you need except the paint. But if you missed it, the paint color that I used is bright white with a dot of brown. I used burnt umber. All right. So I'm just going around and I'm putting some paint on here, kind of doing the top. Now, let me show y'all the inside of that. Do you see up here? If you don't want it to be uh, super bright white, which I don't want it to be, you don't have to go over that heavily. And you could just go over it once really light, just to kind of knock the brightness off. Now, I will say I had a friend who, um, I don't know, y'all know as creatives, we tend to like, we go to make something and we have this idea in our brain and sometimes we tell somebody else about it. And um, no, it's not fleece, it's actually plastic. Um, anyway, we tell somebody else about it and they kind of look at us like we're smoking crack. Yeah, well, let me just tell you, this was my friend, Alicia. She may still be on. And when um, I told her about this tray and how, and then she saw that I was going to be painting it white, but yet all the black from the burnt was still going to show through. She was like, oh my gosh, Kara, that's not going to work. And it was so stinking fun because yesterday I, we were talking and she goes, um, yeah, it was gorgeous. She goes, I get it now. I get it. Um, the kit is $49.99 shipped. Sorry. Um, $49.99 shipped. Okay, so let me tell y'all. Of course, I've got all these fun things going on. But if you've been living under a rock or if you haven't been on my page in the last few days, I got this wild hair and I decided this year that I wanted to do something completely different than what I've been doing. Um, you are very welcome, Brenda. I got a laser cutter uh, in November and I went crazy at Christmas time making all the ornaments and all the things. And I kind of fell in love with wooden crafts, not just door hangers, um, because sometimes you just want to do something different, like something not for your front door, like something for the rest of your house. So I started cutting the tiered tray kits and I'm actually gonna be painting a tiered tray kit to go on here that's Valentine's um, themed. But guys, today, just opened, I rolled out a DIY home decor box. And you're like, what the heck are you talking about? Friends, it's $35 local pickup. It's 43 with shipping. It is a subscription, so it will come once a month, but you can cancel whenever you want to, okay? As long as you cancel before your payment drafts. Um, but I've only got 60 spots. The first 20 people that sign up get an extra bonus. Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? Um, get an extra bonus in their box. And um, it won't open again. So we only, we're only open until the 15th or until those 60 boxes sell out. Um, and then what happens is you don't know what you're buying. I know it's kind of scary, huh? You don't know what you're buying. You have to trust. It's one of those things that if you like what I usually do, um, I, I think you're going to like this box. But what you're going to do is you're going to be put in a private Facebook group for my members. And every month you'll get a new box in the mail. You won't know what it is. You can open it ahead of time. You can open it afterwards. Bye, Cindy. We'll see you later. Um, but we're going to put it all together live. So you don't have to put it all together live. It comes with everything that you need to make whatever craft it is that we're making. Um, but we are going to do a unboxing video 
and assembly video so that by the end of that hour-ish, depending on how much we talk, um, you're gonna have a brand new home decor piece custom made by you. So, super fun, super exciting. I've only got 60 of those available. Um, it's the first month, first time I've ever done anything like this. Um, and I will, the boxes will be ready for pickup on the 25th or, or mailing. They'll all ship out by the 25th. So, um, I can't wait for all of our friends to get their first boxes and to have our first virtual meeting, um, crafting. And what I wanna tell you about this first box. Okay, let me show y'all that middle tier. Can y'all see that? Now do you see the finished product? Okay, so I'm gonna do the other two tiers while we talk, but I figured y'all would be able to see that one the best. Um, but what I can tell you about this first project is it's reversible. It's gonna take you all the way through I, I believe it'll be April. So it'll take you through April. Um, so even if you don't do anything else home decor wise after um, this box for the next little while, you're gonna have something super cute and festive for the next couple of holidays. Now, question that came up is, will every box have a holiday element to it? Nope, not every box will have a holiday element. Some months it will be strictly home decor that is, you know, can be left out all the time. Um, but some months, because I do seriously love to decorate for holidays, um, it will have holiday elements. So it's just a surprise. Felt like during this time, everybody needs something fun, something to get their mind off of all the craziness going on in our world right now. And if I if I could wrap up my excitement for this first box, I, guys, like I can't, there's not a box big enough. Um, super excited about it, super excited. The link is at the top, it's on my website. It is um, kinsleyscreativepalette.com forward slash DIY home decor box. And I would love it if you all would sprinkle with your friends. Um, hopefully we will get everybody signed up and ready and into the group. And I can't wait to come back after the first project is done and show you all the pictures. Um, uh, and the question did come up too. If, um, let's say you really want to do the, the project, but you didn't buy the box, uh, can you buy it later? You can, but it will be more expensive and it will be only as the, um, availability, like only if I have the products available because I will be ordering the components for the boxes ahead of time which is why there's a limited number of boxes. It's not just, I mean, I, I literally, for this first box, I bought from five places. One of those being Amazon, which y'all know sells everything. Yay, Cindy! Oh, and I think, okay, Cindy, you should be good, um, unless there were a bunch of people that signed up before you. You may have gotten one of the last couple of spots for the 20, they get the extra bonus. Uh, friends, here is a perk. So, word of mouth advertising. I mean, there are a lot of people who jump on and they're like, I don't know who you are. I've never seen you before. Totally, totally get that. I can't trust you. Um, not going to give you my money. I don't know what you do, right? Um, but if I say, oh my gosh, look what I just did with my friend or look what my friend does, um, all of a sudden you have credibility, right? So what I decided to do is anyone who sprinkles and has a friend that signs up because of their S-H-A-R-E, if you are a box subscriber, all you have to do is message me and say, 
my friend Tina signed up from my referral and you'll get a, an extra fun happy in your box. So there's a chance you could get two bonuses in your box. Um, so that is incentive to S-H-A-R-E, the sprinkle, um, the video, and also if you signed up, there's a post. If you message me, I'll send you the link to the direct post that you can share with your friends. Whoops, I said the word. Um, and then that way, you can try to get an extra bonus in your box. So, I appreciate you all so very much. I mean, I'm just going around painting. Friends, I'm just spinning it. Uh, and I know some of y'all have said, but Carrie, you said wait till the paint dries before you put a second coat on. Friends, I'm putting this on so thin that it's drying pretty much by the time I get back around. Okay. Ha! That's so pretty. Okay. Cindy, I'm so excited too. And one of the things that um, I was talking about with a friend of mine is it's hard to sell a surprise product because like if somebody is going to give you money, they want to know what they're getting, right? Which I know some of us have signed up for like Birch Box or, you know, different things like that in the past. And you know, you're getting makeup. You don't know what you're getting. So it's one of those things. You're just gonna have to trust me. You're just going to have to know that I want to make this as amazing as possible. Um, and I'm super excited. Super excited. I'm already planning the second box. I haven't figured out. Guys, this was all like an idea. And a customer actually messaged me this week. She actually called me. My phone rang while I was working. And she goes, Kara. I said, yes, ma'am. She says, you know what you need to do? And I said... I actually already have all of the boxes lined up. That's totally okay, Faith. Totally okay. I'm so sorry. Um, but she, I said, I already have all the boxes lined up. I just haven't pulled the trigger yet. And she was like, you have to do it. And it was one of those things that I felt like, and this happened before I started my paint business. Um, I felt like somebody else spoke life into my dream. And so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do it. And so I spent pretty much the next 48 hours making it happen. And yesterday she messaged me and she's like, how's it going? And I was like, girl, like it's not. My website's messed up, like all these obstacles. And she's like, take a break and come back to it. And friends, Last night, it didn't end up looking like the page didn't look like I wanted it to, but I had a button, I had a link, and I tested it on my current members first to make sure that it worked, and it worked beautifully, and so I'm so stinking excited. It's, it's happening. Um, so, what um, I will tell you is after you join you will get, um, you can request to join the private Facebook group and we'll get you accepted just as soon as we can. Um, hello, Miss Kelly. We'll get you accepted just as soon as we can. But um, if you get your box, let's say that like I ship out on the 25th and several of you live closer to me than others, you're not allowed to post a picture of anything inside your box. So nobody can know. Now you can post the outside of your box. You can say, I got my happy mail. Um, you're just not allowed to post the inside of your box because I want every one of you to get that same surprise. I want it to be a surprise for all of you. So, all right. If you're like, Kara, what are you doing? I am just putting a quick rough coat. Y'all see that? I went around the inside of this and I'm just kind of touching up, just kind of touching up. Now I will tell y'all, I don't know exactly what time it is, but the dogs are gonna bark here in a minute and my kiddos are gonna walk through the door and my son and I, we have a shipping date every afternoon. He goes with me to ship my packages. Um, and so we will be heading to UPS to ship some Valentine tiered tray sets. We've got some of those going out today. Um, 
I actually got one of these going out today, which I'm super excited about. I'm waiting on a shipment of wood. I've been cutting like crazy and I ran out of my favorite wood. And so I am waiting on a shipment of wood to come in, but so excited about all of the new fun stuff. If you have questions though, please drop them in the comments. I would love to answer them. And if I don't answer it right now, I can jump on later on this evening and answer. Don't forget, if you're one of the first 20, you will get a special surprise in your box, in your first box, as a thank you for trusting this and for being excited. And then if you want another bonus in your box, um, just hit that sprinkle button and if you have a friend sign up message me and let me know and I'll stick another goodie in your box so that'll be in your first members box that is for the DIY home decor surprise box okay so this is getting close to done Friends, I'm just kind of, I didn't want this to be like super solid. I wanted it to be very vintage, but there were a couple spots that I had missed with my first coat of paint. Let me show y'all up, up close. Can y'all see that? How pretty that is? So I'm just kind of touching up all the paint and getting it ready to spray. Some of you are going to ask what spray I use. This is it. I'm going to set it right there so you can see it for a minute. It's the Rust-Oleum Ultra Cover. I like it in the gloss, but depending on what product you're using or what um, product you're painting, I should say, you might want to get it in matte or whatever finish. Friends, I'm just putting some paint on. If you missed the first and second part of this tiered tray and you're like, what are you doing? What are you painting? Um, I did two other videos this week where we assembled or we painted the base coat of the tray. And then in the second video, we actually assembled it. We used clamps and Gorilla Wood Glue and we put it all together. And then today I am just painting the outside edges. Um, <coughs> oh, sorry, that's gonna be the kids. Just a minute, it's gonna get, it's gonna get loud. Hey babies, I'm live. I'm live. Love you. Um, so anyway, we stacked, there were three tall that we put together. And so they were black along the outside. So now we're just painting those edges. Oh, you did? Okay, so I'm, on, I'm live, Bubba. Are you, are you football playing already? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, there comes the other one. They're going to bark again. So this is part three. It really doesn't take that long, but because I knew that several of y'all were going to want to see the entire process, I didn't want to do it off camera. I wanted to make sure that I showed you in case you want to go back and watch when you put yours together. And this one is taller than most of them that you will find at Hobby Lobby or um, other stores like that. Let me see if I can measure this and tell you how tall it is. The reason it's so tall is I wanted this bottom layer to be big enough to put eight inch um, items on. And so I did a nine inch layer right here. Okay, so let's, we're just gonna kind of measure this. Uh, let's see. It's approximately 20 inches tall, maybe like 19. And it does have these cute stubby feet. All right, I think I'm just about done. Just need to do a little bit of painting on the top. Now, I will be live the next few days um, painting the tiered tray P3 
pieces that are gonna actually go on here for Valentine's Day. They are super cute. If you haven't seen them, there's a whole set of six things that you get if you order. Uh, there's a digital file as well, but they are all these cute little components that you can paint to put on your tiered tray for Valentine's Day. And what is this a kit? Yes, Beth, it is. The only thing that doesn't come in your kit is the paint. And at the beginning of the video, this video and the video that I did on Tuesday, I guess it was, I showed you how I mix the paint. It's just white with a dot of brown. So um, that's the only thing that doesn't come in the kit. You will need clamps when you um, glue your, your trays, your tiers together. But other than that, everything comes in your kit. I even send you, where is it? My favorite wood glue, which is the Gorilla brand in a small bottle. <laughs> this bottle lasts forever. Um, seriously, forever. Oh, Beth, I'm sorry that you have COVID. That's terrible. Cindy, yes. Um, and if you miss any of the videos, I will be publishing those live. Uh, I am not going to lie. I've been a little bit nervous to paint the tiered tray set because I have so many ideas in my head and I don't know what color scheme I want to go with. Hello, Miss Dana. <sighs> yes, Beth, it's awesome. It's $49.99 shipped. Um, turnaround time right now is about a week because these take a hot minute to cut. They are, um, they take about an hour on the machine because of all of the detail. So, um, I wanted a very vintage, but taller tiered tray so that I could do some taller elements and I'm doing mine, you know, hundred percent for decor. Thank you, Kathy. Yes. That was very important to me. I'm telling you, it was very important that it be tall enough, um, which is why I did the taller stick on the bottom. Okay. Now I'm turning this and I'm getting this top the inside lip. Can y'all see that? Hey, you can leave it like that if you want to. I love how there's still some dark contrast, but I did want just a quick coat so that it kind of matches the vintage white that I did on the inside. Hello, Miss Mary. Thank you, Dana. Um, I do too. I'm kind of digging this. Hey, Dana, FYI, um, I sent you a message last night. I don't know if you got it or not. Um, but, hey friends, Dana, well, I have to say Mary was probably my first. Um, Mary was my first subscriber for the new box, and Dana was my second. Like, my girls, I love y'all so much. Like, those of you who were like, do it, Kara, I love y'all so much. I love y'all so very, very, very much. Okay, you don't want any paint tri drip trips. Did y'all hear that? Paint trips. You don't want any paint trips. You don't want any paint drips. I'm just gonna touch this up again. Sometimes um, where you think you got enough white paint, um, that black smoky laser cut area will um, bleed through. And so you might need another quick coat. But friends, I literally, this is not a lot of paint. Just kind of really thinly putting it on. Okay. Ah. So I'm gonna spray this. <laughs> Yay. Um, I'm gonna spray this with that protected coating. That'll just kind of keep it from scuffing. Friends, is that not beautiful? It'll keep it from scuffing and then um, it will be ready for decorating. So if you joined this video and this is the first video that you saw of the tiered tray, this was a three part process. None of it took a long time. Okay. None of it took a long time. Um, but I wanted to make sure I did it all live so that if you felt intimidated, you could go back and watch as you put yours together. 
Because I know a lot of times you're like, oh yeah, Carrie, you say that's easy. It's not really. Well, it really wasn't hard. It's just a little bit labor intensive, but it was super fun. And it's the kind of project that you could totally turn on um, a Netflix show and just zone out. So I would not suggest turning on the news. Wouldn't, wouldn't suggest that. I mean, I'm not against watching the news, but like this is supposed to reduce your blood pressure, <laughs> not bring it up. Oh goodness. All right, I'm just kind of slapping some, I've got this extra paint mixed. So I'm just kind of slapping some paint on these little feet, making them a little bit darker. If you guys have questions about the DIY home decor box, let me know. Um, I don't think we have signups until the 15th, but I don't think they're going to last until the 15th because I only have 60 boxes and the first 20 were almost gone before I jumped on. I think we had two, two left and the bonus boxes. And then after that, I've got 40 more for this month. Dana, it's on the website. It is on the website. It is a DIY kit, comes with everything except the paint, and there's a three part, this is part three, um, lives that I did this week, showing you how to assemble it. So, there it is. Okay, can I show y'all? I love, love, love how you can still see the dark in all of that detail. Can y'all see that? Still see all of that dark detail. Okay, so this is my tiered tray. It is on kinsleyscreativepalette.com. If you go to the main page, there's a box. There's like four boxes. It says shop templates, shop blanks, shop lettering. And there's a new category that is shop DIY craft kits. And this is on there. It's $49.99 shipped, and it comes with everything except the paint. So um, you can make your own taller than what you can buy in most stores so that you can put some bigger stuff at the bottom. Um, you can make your own vintage tiered tray. Y'all make sure you sprinkle video, show some love. If you signed up for the home decor box, thank you, Faye, and you sprinkle and someone signs up because of your sprinkle, all you have to do is message me. And in your first box, I will include an extra surprise as a thank you for the referral. All right. All right, friends. I think that's it. I am going to um, head to UPS, drop off some packages, but I'm hoping to be live this weekend as long as everything goes right and um, paint the Valentine's Day pieces to go on here. So after this dries, I am going to spray it with outside with my Rust-Oleum Two Time Ultra Clear in gloss. And um, I think that's it. And then I will be ready to decorate. So I'll see y'all back. Have a great day. If you missed the, pro the DIY bot home decor surprise box sign up, um, it's going on for the next few days or until I run out of boxes. I have 60 boxes. 20 have already been sold. Um, so I've got 40 more and I am so stinking excited. I'm going to be working on cutting all those and getting them ready to package up. They'll be ready for porch pickup for locals on the 25th and they will ship on the 25th to all of the members. You do get to go into the private um, members group and you won't know what's coming in your box. What we're going to do is do a live unboxing and assembly of our project. Everything you need comes in the kit. The only thing you might want to have on hand is maybe a, a hot glue gun. Not necessary though, you don't have to have it. And maybe a blow dryer to dry your paint. 
quicker if you want to. If you don't want to, that's okay. You can just use what came in the kit. It just takes a little bit longer to dry. All right, friends, y'all have a fabulous day and thank y'all for watching. And yes, please, please share with your friends. Bye guys. Have a good one.